In this video, we're going to be learning all about the Wushu Tai Chi sword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. We're going to be learning about what it's made from, why you'd want this over other Tai Chi swords, what styles train with these, and it's not just Wushu. And at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training with the Wushu Tai Chi sword. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all we can about the Wushu Tai Chi Sword. So as the name suggests, the Wushu Tai Chi Sword is used by Wushu practitioners. So Wushu practitioners from all over China will all use this type of sword. Now, not only do the Wushu guys use them, but you will see a lot of the Shaolin Kung Fu guys using them. So a lot of people doing demos, a lot of people doing competition will use this style of sword. What features does this have that make this suitable for styles like Wushu and Shaolin? Well, the main thing about the sword is that it's flexible. So this is a really, really, really thin sword. So you probably we can't even see the thickness on the camera so if I turn it it's it's hyper hyper thin there's loads of arguments in the Kung Fu world if you go on forums you'll see all kinds of people talking about how this is completely pointless and this has absolutely no meaning in real life and it's completely not realistic but for me that is not the point of a Wushu sword if you want to do realistic Kung Fu training and you want to train with original like battle ready weapons then probably something like Wushu isn't necessarily the style for you. The reason for this is it makes it super, super light. In your demos, in your competitions, one of the things that you get marked on is speed. You're gonna have to have a sword like this because you can go super, super fast. It weighs very little compared to the solid battle-ready swords. This is the type of thing that you want for speed and to be really, really sharp and hold those senses precision, like, like a textbook, like really, really precise. So that's what this type of sword is for. So the Wushu competitions and the Shaolin, where you're just going as fast as possibly can, and it's all about speed. So for that, you need a really, really lightweight sword. So let's have a look at this sword exactly. So you do get you do get a blade, and it is it is beveled all the way down the middle, and about the first third of it is relatively stiff. So this is sprung steel. So it is a really flexible steel, but it's thick enough sort of about a third of the length of the blade to have hardly any flex and then obviously the second half has a bit of flex and the end is super bendy so it bends almost 180 degrees and then back to straight. Now you do also get the scabbard on it and a handle. Now at Enzo Martial Arts the handles will not always be the same. So sometimes these fittings will be gold rather than silver and sometimes this will be red, a bit like the scabbard that I'm holding here, painted red, sometimes they wood, sometimes they have like a blue and white wrap on them. Now this will vary and we will try and update the website as much as possible. So if we get a different batch in we will do our best to update the website. So the pictures will be correct and all the dimensions will be correct. But they pretty much should be the same length, same weight, but the handles might vary a bit. Now also with the sword, you get the scabbard. Now these also do vary, so you do get slightly different designs. This one's got a dragon on it with some Chinese writing, which says Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan, I think. It's upside down, there. And you get the little silver fittings. Now again, sometimes these will be like brass colored, like gold colored. Um, sometimes they're silver, but they're usually pretty much the same. Nearly all of the time you get this maroon colored paint on them. Now this is not the type of weapon that you want to practice sparring with. This is purely a solo training weapon. It is not designed to be hit against things. It's not designed to be hit against anyone. Now actually, even though it's not sharp at all, the end is so thin, I have seen people cut themselves, even just training by themselves. So you do have to be careful. You do not want to be swinging this near anyone's head. It's really, it really, really could hurt them. Like I say, it's not sharp, but because it's so, so thin, you can get almost like a paper cut from it. 
It's a purely solo training weapon. You will not do sparring with this. This current batch we've got at the moment, these don't have tassels on the back, so this should be the same on the pictures on the website, but sometimes they do come with tassels. If it's on the pictures on the website, it will be the sword that we have. We do our absolute best to try and keep that out of date as much as possible. But at the moment, these ones don't have tassels and the price is reflected in that. Um, but if you do want a tassel, we do sell separate tassels if you want one. Yeah, at some point I'll do a video on those tassels separately. So yeah, go check them out on the website. I'll put a link in the description to them. So at Enzo Martial Arts, not only do we sell the Wushu Tai Chi sword, we also sell the wooden Tai Chi swords. The much sturdier aluminium Tai Chi swords with no flex. And the much more ornate Tai Chi straight swords, which is semi-flexible, made from spring steel. And the Damascus Tai Chi sword with Damascus patterning. So let's have a quick look at the dimensions. Now I'll put all the dimensions of the sword that we have in all on the website. I'll do the handle length, the scabbard length, all the length dimensions you could possibly think of. But just for the sake of the video, let's just see the most important one, which is the blade length. It's the most important thing people need to know. As you can see here, it is 70 centimeters exactly, or 27 and a half inches. And then maybe the second most important thing to know, which is the total length so from the from the end to end with the scabbard on, and you can see it's 98 centimeters or 38 and a half inches. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training with the Wushu flexible Tai Chi sword. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Tai Chi sword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.